Hello guys, welcome back to DIY Geek YouTube channel. In this video, I'm gonna show you how to quickly use an OBD2 uh, adapter or reader to reset the check engine light uh, and to clear the troubleshooting or diagnostic code uh, on my uh, Dodge 2015 Ram truck. But this uh, should work probably for most uh, Dodge vehicles between 2010 all the way to 2015 for an OBD. So first thing you need to do is, um, is go ahead and turn off the, uh, the vehicle. Okay, and once you get it off completely, go ahead and locate your OBD and plug in the OBD reader. And then once you do that, then you would then um, turn on the vehicle into the on position, which is not accessory, but the second one to the run or on position. Okay, once you're here, then uh, I'm gonna switch over uh, and show you how uh, to navigate the app to clear it. I'm using an app called the uh, car scanner. So I'm gonna turn that on, on my phone. And I am going to connect first. Actually, I forgot. Okay, so first thing I need to do is connect my Wi-Fi to the OBD reader. Since my Wi-Fi is an OBD, um, via Wi-Fi and uh, by the way it's called VPeak and I'm gonna put the li link in the description I really like this product it's, it's very good it's very easy to use and it's very reliable all right so once I'm connected let's go back to the app it's called the uh, car scanner that's the name of the app and uh, I'm also gonna put the link in the description if you want to download it it's a free app um, it probably works with most generic China made OBD reader all right so next uh, I'm gonna click connect and it's connecting it says there that uh, the successful connection um, trial period is over uh oh okay then uh, maybe I should just go back here yeah it's, it should be fine I think um, then we go to diagnostic and then go to clear and then press on clear and then uh, says okay and let it do its thing yeah so it's a free app i don't know why it shows that expiration um it's it does that once in a while because the software updates and it thinks that uh, i just installed it but i had this for a long time all right dtc clearing complete and uh, just go back um that's it um then you can just turn it off by pressing the power and then when you turn it back on it should be completely clear thank you for watching this video and i hope you find it useful if you do please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel thank you thank you for watching please subscribe to my channel to see more do-it-yourself video like these and support my channel thank you